Oklahoma State up three with 4.48 to go. Cowboys get the ball back. We'll see what the Cowboys can do here. Walks under a lot of pressure. Hit after he threw it. Wide open. Washington. One man to beat. Turns on those Jets again. He's got another gear, and he's got another touchdown by the Cowboys. 73 yards. The amount of explosive plays we've had in this game. We'll blow the lid off any computer anybody can design. Welcome to the Cowboy Football Roundup with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy. The Cowboys enter November perfect, 8-0, following a 70-53 victory over Texas Tech in Lubbock, Texas, and down 17 points three times and rally and win on the road. Uh, your thoughts on that, and what allows this team to do it? They've done it twice now where they've been down 15 points or more and won. It was... Uh really great concept with our team and our coaches. They worked well together. Nobody panicked. Uh, there was coaching. There was instruction. The players listened. And then they were able to take it back out on the field. And we got a little better as the game went on. Uh, defensively, we didn't tackle very well in the first quarter. And number 11 is a really good player. Uh, I, I, I enjoy watching him play, Grant. And uh, we missed five, six tackles on one play, and then on another one we missed two or three, and his, he has great speed, and so he made a big difference. And they started really fast. They had a really good game plan on offense and kind of got us on, uh, on this play and that play and playing on the road, and then they hit the big pass play. Uh, offensively, we were okay. Uh, we were making some plays. We kind of sputtered out there, but then we picked it up and started to play a little bit of catch up. So. Uh, I think you just have to attribute to the coaches staying calm and on both sides of the ball and adjusting and staying with the game plan. And our players absorbed that information and went out and executed as the game progressed. We take a look at the highlights, and there are a lot of them when we come back. We continue on the Cowboy Football Roundup with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy, and let's go to the highlights in Lubbock, Texas, where the Cowboys face the Red Raiders. And what a Classy gesture on the part yeah, of Texas Tech. That was really Tech. nice. We came out on Friday during our walk around and uh, show support for the school and for the community and the victims, and, and I thought it was really nice. Uh, Chief, um, our uh, equipment manager, has uh, put that on the helmets for all the people involved with the, the accident. And it's a play action pass there uh, on a second long to Glidden, and uh, got the ball down the field. We're in a third and long here, and Mason's done a good job this year on third and long. Protection was really good. Those a curl route to James Washington there to pick up about 16 yards. Uh, then we went to the reverse uh, with James Washington. Good blocking there by Aitman down the field. Nice block by uh, Rudolph. Uh, back into a play action pass again. Mason hitting uh, Glidden again on the second long. Picked up about 15 or 20 yards. Uh, went to a, a double pass here. Mason over to, to, uh, to Austin Hayes and Austin Hayes picked it up because it was a lateral, ball hit the ground, but mm -hmm. it was a fumble, a backward pass, and was able to make a nice throw to Jarwin. Originally, we thought the throw was, was not really good. The throw wasn't that bad, a little bit low, but uh, uh, Austin's the kind of guy that understands the game, smart enough to know that he could pick it up and throw it, and Jarwin made a good play and got and a touchdown. And it wasn't designed to be dropped, correct? No, we were not supposed <laughs> to drop the ball. No. Gotcha, okay. Came back into the running game. Chris Carson here on a nice cut, getting his pads down, picked up about 14 yards. Play action pass. Mason did a nice job of stepping up here. Great catch by uh, Shepard. Really a nice catch by Brandon. Uh, got up and caught the ball that was thrown a little bit over his head. Back to uh, the run game. Uh, JW on the read zone concept. Picked up about 11. Mason's back in and he's got a read zone play. And uh, he kept it and picked up about eight. It's a nice job by him there. We need him to do more of that as the season progresses. Mason came in on a third and medium. And, uh, and hits uh, Hayes on the corner out. Really nice throw, great catch. Uh, ball thrown exactly where it has to be. And uh, he went up and took it out of the air, balanced it, and kept his right foot in. On a review, we had a couple yeah. of good reviews for us, but uh, nice play. Still down a bunch of points, uh, another double pass. Uh, Carson back to Rudolph, and if we'd got that block right there, he might have scored, um, but uh, picked up about eight. Uh, came back on a drop back on third and long again to Glidden, picked up 14. First and 10, uh, play action pass again. 
JW's in, hits Chris Carson, really nice catch, nice throw. Uh, get down in there and then we go back to our run game and um, Raymond Taylor bounces off of the tackle and pushes him in and trying to get back into the game. Good job up front, got them all blocked right there. Good job on the back side by the big guy, good job up front side, and got everybody covered up, run it in there. Um, where defense is back out there now, we're in the second quarter. We've settled down a little bit defensively, we're getting a little pressure on the quarterback. Uh, their quarterback's been playing good this year. He played good against us. Forced a throw away, got him, to, got him to punt the ball. Mason came back on a play action. Nice route, nice catch by Lacey. And Mason's back in on a uh, an out cut on third and long again to Austin Hayes. Picked up another third and long. And we got the. Um, Rennie's in, nice run by Rennie there. Uh, shouldn't have got any yards, ended up getting four. And we got the double move there with Shep. Brandon makes a nice catch, controls the ball with one hand. Originally they called it out, but his back was to him and I think he thought it was juggle, but he had controlled the ball right there and had his right foot down and uh, got another touchdown and another reversal on a review. I felt like if we could improve our tackling, we had gotten a little better in the second quarter and if we could just progress tackling offensively, we felt like that we were moving the ball well enough that we just needed to stay with our plan and then uh, we needed to get J-Dub in on some of the plays that we had designed for him in that game. And uh, it just worked out well for our team. Well, if you think there were a lot of first half highlights, just wait, come back with us because we have a lot more second half highlights to show you. And the Cowboy Football Roundup continues after this. We're back on the Cowboy Football Roundup with Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy. It was a 38-28 game at halftime in favor of Texas Tech. And let's move along to the second half highlights, Coach. Well, we got the ball first, and uh, we went with some of the inside running game. Again, a nice run there by uh, 32. We had them all blocked up. Uh, came back again with the read zone concept. Blocked them all again. Good job there by Raymond picking up 10. Uh, we didn't. We weren't able to score. We. Uh, Called for a block punt. We held, they held us, we held them, and Robbie Disher did a good job of uh, calling block. We got a turnover, still didn't score. Yep. And that had concerned me just a little bit. Um, we held them again, and then we got the big return here that kind of got us going. And great blocking down the field there. You got uh, C.J. Curry and, and Jarwin kind of leading, leading the parade, and 84 was able to, to get a return and, and got us a little bit of a jump start. Nice job by Jarrell right there. Good job there by Doolittle. And then uh, these guys did a good job of staying <clears throat> out of the clip zone and leading the, leading the runner down the field and, and not patting, and we avoided all the push in the backs. And you went to a double safety, two punt mm -hmm. returners for much of this game. Do you feel like that maybe helped you have an advantage? I think so. Coach Disher felt like we needed uh, two returners uh, back there to kind of help with what we were trying to accomplish. It worked out well. Defense is tackling better now. Um, nice sack here. They pushed up the field and Ogba didn't run past the level of the ball. He folded back inside, did it, it, uh, executed his technique really well here. Up the field, folds back down inside uh, in a three-man pressure and, and gets a big hit on the quarterback. They, they, their quarterback took a lot of hits in this game. Um, throwing it out here to 11. Again, now we're tackling better. Uh, nice job there by Trey, getting him wrapped up. Getting a little more push on the quarterback, bouncing him out of the pocket. and he. Um, good coverage there by Kevin, even though it, it looks like face guard, there's not any face guarding. And then uh, the fourth down here, and they dropped the snap. And so it worked out well, and then Devontae was able to tackle him from behind. So now we finally get the ball, and uh, we're only down three. We're actually in a position we can catch him. The outside zone to 20, nice run there, showed a little bit of, of cut and some speed there, make the safety miss. Um, Back at it now, we're in the third and 10, so Mason's back in the game now, did a nice job stepping up and hit James on a curl again to convert, picked up about 20 yards there. So now we're at first and 10 again. Uh, we're in a read zone concept, and 30 does a nice job here, bouncing off guys, and J-Dub down the field on the big block on the hustle play. And for, finally, we got the lead. And uh, so we're kind of settled in just a little bit. Good blocking there for the most part. We got them all got them all blocked, and then Raymond made the guys miss in the secondary. How surprised are you at the level of contribution Raymond Taylor's made? He, he's been really good for us all along, but he, he just hasn't had his opportunity. And and you know it's a uh, it's a good example of you know you never really know until a young man gets out there of what he can do. It's a good job there by 18 on the uh, on the, the uh, quick screens, getting out there and making a play. 
There's the fake to 20 off the play that he ran earlier, and JW keeps it and uh, went all the way to the one yard line. Good job protecting the ball right there. 20 came from behind, tried to punch the ball out. Good job taking care of the ball. And then uh, we go to our quarterback run game again. J Dub punches it in there. And we had come back again after they had scored. We had scored, they had scored. Now we had scored again and gave us a chance to, to take the lead. So they had the ball back, uh, 10 minutes to go in the game. Seemed like this game went on forever, and that was a huge play right there. Uh, finally, they threw one to us. Mm -hmm. and, and you, you know, you think eventually it's going to happen, and they threw one to us with the lead. But then this drive was really big. Uh, we're able to put Raymond in, and he's able to pound in the running game and start to kind of establish running the football, very similar to what we did there a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and, and late in the game like that. And then Mike came up with a great call here, uh, good effort downfield, great block by Aitman, and then it was pretty to watch. Uh, we really enjoyed watching 28 get out there and run. Playing close to home. Yeah, and he just opened it up and, and turned the Jets on. It was really pretty to watch him run. Good job there by four on the block. And you'd run this play in the first half, correct mm -hmm. me if I'm wrong. Sure. Sure. James Washington with, in this case, officially it goes down as a reception. Nonetheless, it's four catches for 200 yards, and that's a pretty nice mm -hmm. day. And he's not done yet. Sure. And then um, we're back to later, and, and there's uh, four minutes to go in the game, and we only have a three-point lead. And uh, really kind of in a run mode, and uh, we were able to throw the ball over the top uh, and hit James' really good throw and catch from uh, JW. James is you know, blew right by the corner. Any hesitation about making that call in that situation? No, I, you know, I heard the call and I thought uh, there's three minutes and 50 or so to go in the game and they're hard to slow down. And so, uh, you know, the comment that was made was that um, we have to play offense. We, sure. we, we can't, we're not in a situation on the road against them. And uh, there we get the, the strip uh, and uh, Vincent gets the recovery and then 18 saw enough of the plays. They were in a little bit of desperation mode there, and so he had seen enough times and um, were able to catch it and run it in. It was, it was good for him. But finally, we had it under control with six seconds left. Uh, <laughs> had we had, all that, the had way, that game under control. And, uh, but, uh, you know, Tech is a team that you got to watch now because um, they, you know, when they're hitting on all cylinders, they're going to score some points. And, and obviously, they feel like they're more vulnerable than they need to be on defense at this time. But you still have to watch them because. You know, we knew going into the game, you turn it over a few times and you give them the ball, yeah. then you're, you're, you may not be able to catch them out there against their offense. Coming up, Allison Gappa gives you a chance to meet some of our most devoted fans, our great young fans, when the Cowboy Football Roundup continues in a moment. Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup with Mike Gundy. I'm Allison Gappa out here at the Pistol Pete's Partners event where the entire Cowboy football team is out here hanging out with little OSU fans, playing catch, signing autographs, and it's a lot of fun for everyone involved. Hey, hey, come on. Today we just have a lot of kids in the community who signed up uh, with Pistol Pete's friends. And uh, they're all coming out and get to meet the team and we get to meet them and it's great. Seeing the guys that like, they look up to us. I mean, we really don't think about it all the time and getting FaceTime with people like this, it's really nice. Well, it kind of just reminds me personally of just, you know, me back in the day. You know, I, I was there one time, I was in their shoes. So I understand what they're feeling. I understand how much it means to them. And, uh, you know, it's just awesome, you know, being able to give them that feeling. And, you know, just getting to, you know, kind of give back a little bit. And it's, it's always fun to, have a bunch of people come out here, you know, it makes us happy, it makes them happy, and it's just, you know, it's, it's fun. We've got a lot more fun coming your way. Keep it right here on the Cowboy Football Roundup with Mike Gundy. Welcome back to the Cowboy Football Roundup, and coming up for the first time in Oklahoma State history, the Cowboys, as an undefeated team, will play another undefeated team in the month of November. It's OSU and TCU coming up from Boone Pickens Stadium. And first, just your overall impressions of TCU up to this point. A very successful program over the last few years, particularly they've won, what, 20 games now, uh, just from this season and last season. Uh, their quarterbacks as dynamic a player as there is in college football. Uh, they're, they've got receivers, running backs, and, and Coach Patterson's their defensive coach. And, you know, he's always done a really good job there. So it should be a great game. Our players will be really excited about competing. Um, we're, we're aware of what they've accomplished up to this point, but 
our guys are going to get excited. They're going to practice well, and they're going to play hard. And hopefully our team speed will help us in this game against a very good offense. There was talk that Boykin might be a tailback. Mm -hmm. He might be a wide receiver. Now he may win the Heisman Trophy. Do you remember many quarterbacks that have had the transformation that Javon Boykin has had? Well, first off, the, the reason is that the system that's, that they've implemented, Doug Meacham, who was here with us, is, uh, has gone in there and done a terrific job. Uh, Sonny Cumbie has been involved in the transition, and, and the, the offensive scheme, the system, the way that it's practiced, I'm guessing, um, is allowing him to maximize his potential. They've changed some on defense. They've had some injuries. Um, he's made a few adjustments. For the most part, his scheme is his X's and O's side has stayed the same for a number of years. Um, offensively, they're, they're an explosive team. They make big plays. Yeah. And uh, he does it throwing and he does it running. And uh, those receivers and running backs complement him very well. It should be an exciting Saturday afternoon at Boone Pickett Stadium when the undefeated Oklahoma State Cowboys host the undefeated TCU Horned Frogs. Is there any league in America that can come close to the drama that's about to unfold in the Big 12? Probably not in college football. For head coach Mike Gundy, I'm Dave Hunziker. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.